What's up guys? It's Mike with Shallow Reefing. Come back at you with another video. Are you trying to talk with me, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> and today it is early morning on the reef. I've just done my water change last night because this little guy and the other little guy make it difficult for me to do it during the day. So I got a couple problems with the tank. So yes, it's not very funny. So let's get started. I'll go over a couple of my problems that all stem from one coral frag that I got from a guy. All right, so where do I begin with this story? Probably about four months ago, I had a frag and I got it from a guy who I kind of know and I trust him and I put it on my frag rack back there. Now I do trust him, but I still went through my regular dipping process. I inspected the coral, didn't see anything on it. It was like a pink panther zoa and like a, it, like a frag of, I don't know, some acro, I can't even remember. Actually, I think the acros, whatever that little drab guy is right there, it was that one, I believe. So, got that coral, dipped it with Curl um, MD from Brightwell and Revive, and inspected it, didn't see anything, so I just put it in the back frag rack, just right there, you know. So I let it sit for a while, and then, you know, I decided to move it to my little frag tank, because, you know what, I was like, oh yeah, it looks good, I'll just kind of put it in here. Well, probably should have quarantined it, or I probably should have done a hydrogen peroxide dip because on it I had bubble algae and aptasia, and it looked clean. That's the problem. So I was like, okay, I pulled the frag out, washed it down, you know, cleaned it all up, dipped it with hydrogen peroxide, got rid of everything. And I only saw an aptasia back there. Well, if there's one, there's more. I thought I got it. But there are little Aptasia every once in a while right in here. Let's see if I can find it. You can't even see that on that rock. It's so small. But let's move over to this one. You might be able to see that guy. Yep, that guy right there. I have Aptasia in the tank now. And the bubble algae, well, it's gone. And I didn't do a video on it because I didn't want to like promote it anymore. But I'll be honest, Vibrant, it is an algicide. We do know that. And it did work, it got rid of the bubble algae. It took me three weeks, actually it took about a month of dosing it, and it got rid of all the bubble algae. That's wonderful. There is a downside to it though. My nemesis is back saying, this is actually the day after I did a water change, so you can imagine this was way worse. So, Sayendo came back with a vengeance. So, now we get a bunch of problems. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I was gonna handle all my nitrates and phosphates and all my balance issues with this Fauna Marine program, but I can't even get to it because I need to have an, eth an efficacy um, held standard when I'm doing this. I think that's what I mean. I mean like I gotta limit all my variables that way I know what I'm doing with that is working. So I have two plans for this tank. One is to get rid of the Aptasia first. So that Aptasia there, and I think there's like one little Aptasia in there. Come on, zoom in. No, you can't even see it. Anyway, the Aptasia is super tiny, super small. Actually, there's one up here. Like, you guys can't even see that on there. Nope, it is literally so minuscule. So I've been able to catch it really, really early on, and I've been using um, Aptasia X from Red Sea, and that has not worked for me at all. It has just, I mean, I'm pretty much out of it. It is kind of older, so I know Ryan from BRS hates it, and I can say that it hasn't really done anything for my tank to get rid of any Daptasia. I've been doing that for about two to three weeks, just trying to hit Daptasia in its spots, and nothing's been happening. So now we're gonna do Aptasia F. So Aptasia F is what we're gonna do, or F Aptasia, sorry, F Aptasia. And I'm just gonna use this and let you guys know how I feel about it. Then, in order to get the cyano gone, I'm done using chemical ink. It works, 100% it definitely works. But I'm also of the opinion that it is an antibiotic. If humans can develop you know, antibiotic resistant bacteria, and cyanobacteria is literally a bacteria in its name, and I'm dosing all this you know, antibiotics to it, it could become antibiotic resistant, I could have super cyano in my tank. That sounds like a horrible idea. So the next video will be how I use Dr. Tim's refresh and waste away to get rid of cyano. 
but this video is going to be all about F Aptasia. So let me get into this tank, read about F Aptasia and F Aptasia and how to use it and if it actually works. So this is the one ounce bottle of F Aptasia. It's the smaller one. It comes with a stick and you need to stir it up and mix it really well before you actually use it. You're going to make this like a paste and it does stratify so you have the thinner stuff at the top and the thicker stuff at the bottom. Now when you're looking at this, you want to make sure that you attach all the tips and everything to it. Make sure it doesn't come in contact with any coral. So right here, I'm trying to stir it up and it is super thick. Definitely thicker than um, Aptasia X if you're used to that consistency and you're definitely going to spill it so put down some uh, paper towels because right now I'm definitely thinking myself that I use paper towels for it. So mix it up really good and you're going to have to do it for a couple minutes. It's not going to be a 30 second thing. Just shaking it in the bottle will not work. Use it with the stirrer. That is a huge thing. And then once you're done with that you can syringe it up. Make sure you pull from the bottom so you actually get that nice thick stuff so that way you can use it for your tank. Now let's see if I can actually get a good picture of me using um, this on that um, in the very back. Oh gosh, I did not realize it spilled that much on some of the coral. All right, so now I'm covering it all up and hopefully you guys can see that this stuff is super thick. Now all that stuff that kind of came off initially was just the residue from the needle that I pulled it up the syringe. So if you wanted to wipe that off where you would be able to you know kind of contain it more in the syringe and not have any residue on the outside that could help mitigate any of that excess going on because that excess that was on the outside it's still thick and it still falls off but the main idea of this is to totally encase the entire area there so right now the whole area is encased i don't know if you can see that itty bitty tiny aptasia right there okay not a good camera angle, but it, it you get the point. That stuff is super thick, it kind of sits on. You need to make sure you turn all your water pumps off for 30 minutes before, well, turn off, put down the F Aptasia, then you have 30 minutes where the pump should be off. That way it kind of hardens and solidifies on everything. I probably should have mentioned this before I went in the tank, but always have a game plan to know where your Aptasia are before you go in. You're always gonna find more and you're always gonna miss one or two. So this has to be a part of a holistic approach and F Aptasia is a good start. So figure out where all those pesky Aptasia are, then go and track them down. All right, Spencer. So since it is super thick and I just got done cleaning out everything, I'd recommend running this through just some like, you know, tap water, drawing it out, pushing it out because at the tip here you'll get, let's focus, the tip here you'll get some of this stuff and it fade and crust. It's super thick, it's way thicker than um, Aptasia X. So I would imagine that this would gum up these syringes pretty quickly. Overall, I'm really happy with how that paste kind of just stuck on those vertical spots right there. Obviously when it's down, you know, on the rock flat, it's super easy. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. I found an Aptasia right behind this awesome coral and it's able to kind of like stick in there on those vertical surface and that's what I want. And yes, that's kicked up because that's one of my fishes. It's that my King Midas, where are you at? That's his home. He doesn't really like that I messed with it. I didn't know he was in there and I kind of got a little on him, but he seems to be fine for now, right? I'm sorry, but. All right, guys. So this is definitely not going to be a one and done solution. This is going to be you have to go in there and look and make sure that everything is, you know, killed with the F Aptasia. So I'll be back in a day or two and take a look, and then I might even go to my LFS if they have some peppermint shrimp and get some peppermint shrimp. All right, so the second step is to also get my peppermint shrimp, which I did after work today. Oh, why can't you? There we go. Now one peppermint shrimp isn't going to do much. Let's be real. Turn your gallon tank behind me. One little peppermint shrimp is not gonna do the job. So hopefully my LFS is gonna get in some more peppermint shrimp and then I'll be able to put more in there and then take care of any Aptasia that I did miss. But you can kind of tell that there are no Aptasia coming out of here. Everywhere I put it, it looks to be pretty well sealed. So far this F Aptasia is really doing the job and doing what it's supposed to, kind of sealing it all in. And it looks like my fish just fragged a huge piece off of this colony of scripts. Great. On a side note, that Aptasia is 
doing much better, but the cyan is doing horrible. Don't worry, that'll be another video. All right, so it's been a week after using F Aptasia and it's pretty impressive what it's done. So I'm pretty sure the main strategy for this is just to encase all of the Aptasia in this and just smother it and kill it. And it's done a really great job. So you have a piece there that's been smothered and one there. And I think there's one that I missed in this nook or cranny. You can't even see it, it's so tiny, but I'm gonna hit that later. But everywhere where there's Aptasia, it has not come back at all. There's usually like a couple down in there. It's totally fine. And then there was one in this area and it's totally gone too. So I did put that peppermint shrimp in. I haven't seen him in a while, but this F Aptasia has really been working. So hopefully everything is good to go. I'm gonna hit any little part that I missed. What, Daniel? Let's go play upstairs. Daddy's doing a video. Do you wanna say hi? Oh, you need to go take a bath? Say, bath time. Bath time. All right, it's time for a bath. So it's been a week and a half, and the only thing I can tell is that there might be, you can't even see it, it's so tiny. There might be a little Aptasia that is popping up there. Yeah, the camera's not even gonna catch it. Super duper tiny. I'm gonna have to go in and take a look. Also just noticed one popping up right there that I'm gonna hit. But everywhere where I once saw Aptasia, I don't know if you can see back there, is now completely gone. And even down in this corner where there was Aptasia, and right up in there, completely gone. I don't see any of it anymore. This F Aptasia really has done a good job. Now I'm gonna hit this one more time with F Aptasia. So like three times, but I'm still catching stuff that I kind of missed, and there's only one spot that I didn't hit all the way, and I'm done. I think, I'm not gonna say it's beaten, but this F Aptasia is way better than Aptasia X for sure. Alright guys, so the main takeaways I have for this F Aptasia is that it comes in a 1 ounce and a 2 ounce size. Now for me, I only have like maybe a dozen Aptasia in my tank and the 1 ounce was more than enough. If you have more than, you know, 2 dozen, I would definitely go for the 2 ounce. But overall, I mean for the price, it was super affordable and it was just a solid performer. I, I love this so much better than Aptasia X. Now, again, this is going to be a holistic approach for, you know, peppermint shrimp. Maybe if you have more Aptasia than I do, you might want to get a, a Aptasia eating file fish. But overall, you have to take this from multiple approaches and not just rely on one. Because if you miss one Aptasia with Apta or F Aptasia, you know, you're going to be having some spread throughout the tank. But guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you like what you see here and you want to see more click the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment below let me know how you like this video and if you're going to use this product in the future i'd highly rec recommend it